Prior to the 21st Century Salmon and Steelhead Project, I had not been aware of any other project or planning process that had brought different folks within the single agency together to work on as a team towards one direction. The framework allowed us to do that in a manner that allows them to be more effective, more efficient, uh, organize across division, across program toward a common goal. You, you get cross-program and cross-cutting dialogue where even if people know each other and talk, when they get down to having to fit their particular work into one outcome, you, you break the silos down. You just inherently do. I think one of the really astounding things was uh, the greater meshing of our habitat program and our fish program. If you want salmon to recover, if you want sustainable fisheries and healthy hatchery programs, you need to have a significant habitat approach. What was success? Well, success was achieving the recovery goals, but also maintaining sustainable fishery. Probably to the person in that participated on our planning team developing this framework document, they would all walk away with at least that one commonality that we have a different way of thinking today than we did when we started, and that is to start at the end. I think it's the clarity of the outcome statements, uh, a general outcome statement for um, 21st century salmon and steelhead as a whole, and then within uh, particular key result areas, uh, very explicit, again, statements about what we're going to achieve, and then contrasting those with where we are now. As an agency, and I think as most agencies, everybody wants to do everything, and it's all of the same importance. But if you start to really say, no, I want this to happen by 2030, it crystallizes, well then, these are the things we must do. And the other things we just aren't going to do if we really are dedicated to achieving this particular goal. In the end, that's how it helps you prioritize because at each benchmark you had to make a decision on what you were going to do in this year, what you would do next year, what you would do in five years in order to get to your end point. I look at the framework, I understand our long-term outcomes that we must achieve, I look at the benchmarks for the current biennium and use that to drive my decisions about what are our budget priorities. What we were doing was building a roadmap for the department where we could, regardless of what program or what division you were in, what particular responsibility you had in the agency relative to salmon and steelhead, there was a place for you on the map. I think it made me realize that there's more than just my little world out here. And that it also made me realize that I'm really dependent on a bunch of other people to be successful. And I can't do it myself. We've developed uh, cross-disciplinary uh, work groups to achieve the uh, different benchmarks. So we've got people from science, We've got people in the fisheries harvest world. We've got people from habitat. Well, we stepped back and looked at what our mission really was. Well, our mission is preserve, protect, and perpetuate fish and wildlife. Everything else then is based on making sure that we provide that. Now, success isn't just, oh, do I get my fishery? Is, you know, are, are we managing with the right principles? Conservation sustainable fishery plan that we laid out. We have a vehicle that can hold the memory and can articulate the strategy. So someone coming in new or fresh or all, all of a sudden facing some big problem has this context that we can at least begin the discussion about with, so what were you thinking? Well, here's what we were thinking. But it gives some good sense of stability for us to stand on and shape the world around us as we move forward.